Well, top of the morning to you, huh? No. It's early o'clock on a Sunday. I should be sleeping. We got to get to work on this Buick. So here's a promising thing. The shocks that I ordered for this thing, I had to order them. Nobody has them. Gabriel hijackers. That's it. That's it for air shocks. In the entire country, that's the only thing that'll fit. Okay? They're coming. Says they are north of me in Rockford, Illinois, and they're going by USPS, which means it should get to Effingham today. I'm going to keep an eye on that all day, and if it does get to facility in Effingham, I got some friends that work up there. My ass is going up there and grabbing them to get these things on. With that being said, we'll have this thing already up in the air and have the shocks off of it in the rear. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong there. That's a possibility too. But, right now, let's get to going on this thing. I'm going to get the, all the plugs out of it. I want to read on this. What is actually going out of the tailpipe? What is it? Is it fuel? Is it oil? It looks dark. Maybe it's fuel. Maybe I got something going on here. They're, they're perfect. Like literally the ground straps, the ring. It's perfect. No oil, no pre-ignition, no nothing. The timing is right on. So where the hell is all that smoke coming from? Mm. Those plugs have been in there a while. All the time we've been driving around here and then just took it on a 400 mile trip and ran it down a drag strip and it smoked like a chimney. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Hi. I'm on a mission. I am hunting. Where is this oil coming from? I have an idea that was given to me by a good friend, by Tony, my transmission guy, old school hot rodder. I'm going to take a valve cover off. And this probably isn't the smartest thing to do because these are probably going to break and be brittle and crappy and I just don't know. But, we don't have a choice here. We gotta figure out what the problem is. Probably not good. And there went the bolt. That's good. That's fine. Damn it. Let's see if I can find that now. Well, that's just great. Bat in a thousand. Right off the bat. I was able to get some valve cover gaskets, but they won't be here until Tuesday morning. That's perfect, because no rush around. No droppy. We need to replace another one. <laughs> Disintegrated. So, see how nice and crusty they are? Yeah, well if you look right here, you can see down in there kind of, sorry it's kind of dark, but watch this. Yeah, that's your drain back. And it's just as bad back here. There's actually oil standing right in there. Okay, so what's happening is those passages are blocked and it gets oil built up in here right and buick valve guides as my buddy dallas told me are notorious well this rear one back here has oil standing all the way to here okay so what's happening is is the oil is not draining quickly enough and it's getting in the valve guides back there it's going around the seal the seals there for oil coming you know on the top but look at that looks like we're gonna do an engine cleaning boys and guys look at that 
This motor's got a, that's definitely 120 some thousand. But we'll, uh, we'll clean these out and be ready for the new valve covers come Tuesday. But I have a feeling, because most of the smoke is coming from this bank. Okay. But the plug, you know, you got to figure 500, 550 miles. This plug looks great. So that's an idea. And you can also see how much oil is getting above that because it's swashing around in there. Look at that. Going right up to PCV and the PCV valve can't keep up. That's one thing that's possibly wrong. Not a big deal. It's just time crunch here. We don't have time for this, but this is normal. What can go wrong absolutely will go wrong here. Same thing over here. The difference is that side is the PCV that sucks up. So I'm sure it's building up oil over there. And uh, God, that's some nasty stuff. That's from sitting. That's from your, I'm gonna get to this someday. And that's a bad, is that a bad plug wire? No, nah, it should be fine. But yeah, that back one, same damn thing. So, looks like we're cleaning these up. We're gonna wait on those to come in. She look, oh yeah. So yeah, we'll get, uh, We'll definitely get that cleaned up. Uh, other than that, I did notice that this thing is still, still, look at that. So we're draining that out too. That's, that's not good, but it's okay. You know, it takes time, that's it that I don't have so doing some cleaning and yeah I'm using brake clean to spraying her down probably not the best thing for it but it's what we're doing but watch this look at that sitting it's not going down so when well, you got 40 pounds of oil pressure going up in here that oil's just building up and these got low valve guides they're like way down here so yeah oil's just seeping over the top of them <sighs> yay while i'm cleaning that sprayed these down with my super clean i love this spray stuff i actually like it better than the bottle i appreciate that they sent me that and i got another one in there i'm gonna need it but i'm just spraying it on there and letting them soak because my parts washer is a mess. While I'm letting everything soak, I thought I'd go ahead and release this. I'm gonna have to change these lines again. They are worn out for me taking them on and off. But let's see what it looks like in here. This thing. I'm going to be amazed if this is, I've never, ever in my life had one this dirty. This is nuts. Like, I, I can't believe it. I can't freaking believe. Ew. What the hell did they have in this motor? 
Yuck. I mean, what, what, what was in it? This is stupid. Okay, so she's all jacked up. Two different jack stands, okay? That one up there is on the frame. These are on the rear end. Lowers it down just enough. I can get the tires out and I can work underneath here. What I've got to do is I've got to get these off. They are garbage. I have a new set coming, like I said. And, of course, the only people that make them are Gabriel. Yep, those are actually Gabriels. They are hijackers, just like what's on my Blanche back there. And guess who? They're the only ones. So, I got to get these off. I'm going to go ahead and get it ready to put on. I can't do nothing in the engine anyway. So, we're going to tackle this. And we're going to tackle the exhaust. Going into that muffler is shock. It is rusted out. I almost considered hacking them off, putting on some kind of fancy pants muffler and just put a turn down. But then, you know, I'd have to have a hanger and all that that's why I know this one isn't going to last because there's this hanger and I think there's one up there somewhere in the front of the muffler but everything back here is just flopping you can smell it in the car it's not you know too overbearing other than I can't breathe today so let me get these out we'll work on the air shocks first that way they're out and ready to go <coughs> so these the reason they only make these because this has the heavy duty sports suspension under it and there are some Chevelles that have it but mostly it's your GTOs and your your GS model Skylarks or this one being a Grand Sport itself um, some of the other ones you name it some of the fancier cutlasses stuff like that they all have them like this we're using air tools today it's gonna be a little noisy because I got that other ones that are all charged up I don't want to I don't want to mess with them I got them put away so let's just do it the old school way dang you gotta save these because who knows if they sent you sent them with them there's a whoosha I'm leaving this on there for now. I just wanted to make sure they come loose. Because those up there, I'm kind of scared. Because that looks like pop metal. And they don't go all the way through. So that means I'm going to have to do that with hand tools. I don't want to break that. And this one's freaking me out just a hair. Because if these break <laughs> yeah come on girl come on out of there nice and easy oh boy oh boy no break off damn don't break off that's pop metal too son of a <sighs> let me show you what I'm dealing with but there's what I'm dealing with that is some kind of iron pop metal shit. these bolts do not go all the way through and they are tight enough that I can't break it loose and that that's bad that's bad uh, I think I think I'll get my piece of crap Bauer my little impact because it don't have a lot of power and maybe it'll rattle this thing and knock whatever corrosions in it loose because that's exactly what it is these I'm sure grade five to eight steel bolts hardened steel going into this pot metal shit I'm sure that's what it is they're seized together and corroded so let me get my little impact and I'll try it and see what happens please please do not break I just want something to go right please please oh come on baby make sure we're going the right way don't break off
didn't move. Wait a minute. Do those? No. Did it break? Oh. Well, wait a second. Is there a nut? Oh, there is a nut on top of that. Well, there's a nut. How do you get to... Do you go through the trunk for these? So let me give you an idea of what's going on. I did get it out. It's right here. This is in good shape. I forgot. I haven't done one of these in a long time. But there's a nut and a, and a washer on the other side of these bolts. And it's still up in here. But the reason I couldn't get to it, and I was thinking maybe it was through there, through the trunk, was, well, let me show you. Remember a few videos back I said how bad this trunk floor is? Watch this. Here we go. Watch right here. Yeah. You see the whole thing moving. So, in order to get that back up in there, I wonder if I shouldn't put a board under this side too. Ah, I won't. But yeah, I'm going to have to get a jack under here or something. Lift this up so I can get the nut and the nuts on the end of these bolts but I did get it this side is already up so I can probably get it off same thing but I did not know that I forgot all about that how that worked but okay back to normal let me get this other one off scratch that last statement these ain't gonna come loose they are stripping off you cannot get the top ones. The top ones, only one of them has a little bit of bolt left. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the heads of these bolts off. And then I'll just get my torch and... I really don't want to do that. Fuel line's right there. This is how it goes, guys. Son of a bitch. all right so i started using my torch but it was getting way too hot under here and the fuel line is just absolutely too close so i just started using my little cutter tool for my air because i got this one cut off and hopefully i can get up in there and get them off but i'm telling you right freaking now i am this close to just cutting a hole in the trunk floor and resealing it when i'm done there should be one there there's literally like that much room up there even with the, that's stupid even Ford and some other ones they put a little access panel I mean come on I'm I'm pretty sure by the time this is over with I'm cutting a hole yeah so I gotta flatten those out there now we just got two bolts we gotta cut out somehow I'll get up in there and maybe with a Dremel but I'm thinking about drilling a hole here to tell me where I'm at and just cutting around it. Because this sucks. I mean, bam, y'all. That's a design. How did I not remember that from my cutlass? I think it's exactly the same. But the nuts on top here... The nuts on top of this are completely rusted and like you can't even get a wrench on them. That fuel line's right there, of course. So there's all your access. And that other side I could have cut out. This side, no way. That's that's too close. I I'll do some sketch things, y'all, but and that, you know, that fuel line ain't the greatest. Hopefully it lasts. Alright, I guess I'll maybe get the Dremel out. I don't know. Okay. Got them. And cut them off and then just push them through the top. Grabbed a magnet. One of them fell in the rocks. 
but I got the ones out of the other side. I just gotta wait for my shocks to come in. I'm gonna have to go get new bolts. Uh, what a pain in the ass. I'll flatten this thing out with a file or something. I don't want to go crazy on it because it's. That's just. That's dumb. Why wouldn't you make that out of good steel? Something with. You know, give and take? I, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I did get a little angry. Got this piece of shit out of my way. But they are junk. They were junk on the top and junk on the bottom. Let's wait for our new ones. But at least we got that. Because that would have been a nightmare if I'd have waited till Monday night or Tuesday night to do this. But I got them out. It's important to get that out. And wow, did that suck. Anyway, let's see if we can't fix this exhaust. Oh, I'm back. Went to the parts store. This exhaust was rotten right here, but there's still over half of it is attached. So I cut the I cut the, the old clamp off there because it was rotted anyway. Went and got me a two-inch band clamp. I'm just going to clamp that sucker together and call it good for now. Problem is, is it's way out of round. But I'm going to use a tool, probably one of the best tools my dad ever got me. And I actually have his now. This is a Pittsburgh that he got me. But I have his vice grips version. And you can just put that right on there. Well, usually. Come on now. Where's my old Cabal Jr.? Hold this sucker together. Let's see what she does. I'm taking my hat off while you're at it. Hia! Oh yeah. She's tightening. That's how we do it. Oh yeah, that's really snug. Shouldn't leak near as much, but my main problem ain't leaking. It's I don't want to fall off on going on a highway in the middle of the desert. Then we got a you know one open pipe. So and I'll double check this, but that's that's pretty good. My biggest problem now is where is it? Is it? Oh, it's just this hanger. It's giving it enough. Yeah, we're good. Oh well. I'll double check that when I get underneath there to change that oil, but I'm pretty sure I got that. That's tight. This side is. Eh, it's two. Maybe I should have bought two of them. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, really. Do, do I really care? See, this is even comfortable. I'm so tired of doing this. Brake lines are all secure. Good. Fuel line looks terrible. That's good. There's a little bit of a leak back here, but I ain't worried about back here. I'm only worried about here. This is on a hang. That's an easy fix. This falls down. You're frigged. Hear that? I didn't cuss. Anyway. On to the next. Amazing what you find crawling around on the rocks. It was pointing straight up, right into my back. It's all right. So, I did some investigating. Yeah, I know, right? Sherlock Holmes of the automotive world. Or Sherlock Holmes of junk, one of the way or the other. Uh, these are an old school lift. I didn't know that. I did not know that. These are an old school lift that goes on the shocks. Huh. They're like a three inch or two, man. Okay. Didn't know that, but we'll put them back in there. Got the bolts and everything. Got the exhaust done. Still cleaning up on the, you know, the valve train. Did get the valve covers clean. And eat. They're clean. 
as clean as they're gonna get pretty much I can't do anything else until I get the shocks in once I got the shocks in tomorrow night I can swap this side to raise this side and then I'll you know I'll check the bearings and all that and make sure everything's still greased but for now she's just gonna have to sit till I get some valve cover gaskets and then uh, once I get that all done and cleaned out change the orals and then we give you the old Berryman treatment right down the gullet I did it to this thing once but we're gonna have to do it again because I've been thinking about it. it it may still be some stuck rings and it's allowing compression because this is you know high compression on I me mean, how many times I gotta tell you that ten and a quarter this some she's got some pep you know in the chamber uh yeah so we're gonna dump that down there and we might have that and then we'll just you know pray to god that she comes out of it but yeah so we'll catch you up when it's dark out tomorrow night when i'm putting them them uh shocks in i honestly don't know what to say i'm i'm bored to death of working on this but we get that way we just got to keep going <sighs> Just remember, I need to make this fit because I'm not going down there without this beautiful wheel trim on there. Problem is, we can't have any of this here. I ended up having to cut this out of the other side while it was still on the car, and that stopped it from rubbing the tire. So let's just get rid of it. <sighs> couldn't get out the rest of them came out so we'll just flatten that one not like that there we go expert body tip just move it it'll fit so I was out got me some self tappers mm -hmm. I don't know where my magnetic end is so we need to just find the original hole, a good one, it should be right here. Well, well, how am I supposed to do this with no magnetic end? There you go. And there's the hole. Well, here, fine. I'll get it in there. Can't see nothing because where are my glasses? Why does this have to be so difficult? Because I can't keep track of my tools. There we go. Did that get that bad? Oh. Oh. I can't wait to just be comfortable driving the damn car. Okay, we can put one there. We'll work our way around. Sit down. This trim is already screwed up, so. Boom, shotgun. 
working around straight. Boom. Boom. Hopefully the tire won't hit that. If it does, I'll just take it back out. I don't think it will though. Let's see. There's enough room there. I may have to change that out for a flat screw. May. I don't know. We'll find out. <sighs> I guess I could put one right there. Dig in something. Perfect. That'll go nowhere. Oh, nice. <laughs> that will work. See? Now it's nice and sharp, so when you grab the tire and rip it out, it'll cut the out of you. Or if somebody tries to steal my wheels, you'll get the cut out of them. Eh, yeah, let's put one in that bottom. That's terrible. Put it in the rustiest spot on the car. It'll hold. Maybe I'll grind that down, but then I won't be able to get it out of there. That sucks. It's, uh, it's, uh. Ah. See me for all your auto body hints and, and tricks. Hey, how's it going, y'all? It's uh, Monday evening. Just got home about 9 o'clock at night. Got all the lights on I could possibly have. I done broke one. We got to get to work. I got the shocks in. I got everything but my damn valve cover gas. They won't be until tomorrow. That should be fairly good. Tires will be put on tomorrow. And tonight after I get these on, I'm going to drop the sand over. And then I'm going to put the front end up and we're going to check the bearings and stuff. I'm going to try to do that all tonight. That way I can kind of relax and be at the family before I leave for a week. So let's open this box. Okay. Amazonian. Now, the company in the parts store that I grew up at actually had the shocks for a normal... Skylark or a body or whatever, but those don't do me any good because this one Has what's called heavy-duty suspension So We got Gabriel hijackers. Yep. They got everything I need in them. Looks like this one's been opened a couple times So that means I hope that uh, everything is still in it Because if it's not Jay gonna blow up Everybody loves when Jay blows up, but this time, however, I do not want to blow up at all. How the hell? This, yep. Mm hmm. Because yeah, this takes a totally different shock than my cutlass. Here's one. Yeah, see? Them's the old school hijackers, man. That's what was on it. Oh no, I scratched it. Yeah, son of a There. There's two. Now here's the important part. What kind of hardware we got. We got the right hardware. Alright. We get a sticker? What? There's no sticker. Are you kidding me? Well, now I'm just pissed. I'm gonna send them back. This. No, I'm kidding. We gotta get these on. 
So we'll go ahead and put these on first. We got to put these little adapters on. Uh, that's the difference between your regular A body and these these uh, these heavy duty suspensions. That's the difference right there. So. Oh, burps. Okay, let's get these on and let's get these things loaded. <sighs> oh, right on my air hose. Damn it. Anything can go wrong today? What you think, huh? Huh? Well, where you at? There we go. And we'll put one on this side and one on the other. Let's go ahead and get these on both sides. Come on now. Oh, she's uh, may have to do some wallering. Boom. How many ugly duggas? Was that enough, you think? I hope. Put all this shit here. Let me get that other one on there. I'll be right back. Okay. Look here, people. The camera's gonna bounce, so you're just gonna have to deal. Okay, so bought new bolts. And I'm going about this a certain way. I bought these keep lock nuts. That way, next time we want to take it out, she just whoosh, you know. Should just, you know, they're the ones that's got the little star looking shit on the bottom. Okay. Now, you're not supposed to use washers. They should just go right up in there like that right there. And I know you probably can't see that where it's But, I think these are a little bit longer, so I don't want to really give it any hell so it's already pushing up the damn floor so i think there's plenty of room in there for that right there so first things first i'm actually going to put the bottoms on and i'm kind of wondering which way i need to put this sucker because if it goes i guess those go to the side or do i want them to the inside i suppose i want them to the inside that way, I don't know though. Damn it, I just don't know. I'm having all kinds of battery and camera trouble and I don't know. It's cutting in and out on me. Here's what you missed. Absolutely nothing because I couldn't get my hands up in there to get a nut. It just, it ain't gonna happen. So, Here's what I'm doing. As you can see, the floor of this trunk is shot, but the brace is good, mostly, okay, mostly. So I took this broken off piece of four by four I had that's sharp edged on one end and and it's, it's tight, it's not moving anywhere, and I used my jack right here. I know it's close quarters, give me a break. And I put it on here and I jacked her up. That gives me plenty of room to get up in there and get my fingers in there so this son of a bitch can fall and smash my fingers and then, you know, we do it with maybe a thumb and a pinky left. And I'll drive it like that. I don't care, man. We'll go. All right, let me see if I can get this in here. Well, two damn hours later, I got her in there. She's tight. Now, nah, it actually took me about 20 minutes to figure out the right way to put this on. And it, it had to be really loose, this off. And that way I could finagle and get my fingers up in there to get that bolt and nut to mate. But then my idea about having those little star grabber nuts was a great idea because I could just go right, right. And that some just tight. It's perfect. So, again, I'm not going to do anything here uh, just yet. I got to finagle this somehow so it ain't going to hit the exhaust because they got the exhaust right next to the sun. It'll have to be around like that. 
and I think these raise and lower so if I get this on here I can zip tie that to that and this will move with it you know it's not the greatest idea but we're just gonna have to see what happens because that's a pain in the look how close that is but if we twist this just right it'll go see if we twist it just right it'll go and it'll stay well let's try to get that other one on before we even worry about that see this side is not rotten but i'm not taking the jack out yet because i can get my fingers up in this one pretty easy so let me see if i can snag this in real quick so i was underneath there and i had to grab some stuff to put that one on the right and it dawned on me you guys watched me cut open that package let me show you something you know I cut this open here's the hardware pack there's the packing here's the Amazon box these come straight from Gabriel straight from Gabriel remember I said there was no sticker there's no airlines either are you serious I just I just left a nice message for Gabriel so hopefully hopefully they have another type of pack for airlines and stuff for these things at O'Reilly's I've got one but it's not the right kind it's for the other style this takes a specific style so I may be anyway I mean I got to get them in there and then just hope for the best I'm telling you I don't have any problems at all with my damn vehicles it's parts everything is garbage or wrong or missing you parts people that make need to get your together Let me go finish putting these in, jackasses. They got a good message. And yes, I I will put this on YouTube. I'm hoping you're seeing it. Get your straight. I thought there was something weird that it was all taped up all funky and there was no sticker. I've always got hijacker stickers, but I never thought about the airline. Never dawned on me. So here it is, 11 o'clock at night. I'm putting shocks that ain't going to do a damn thing what can and will go wrong will go wrong go ahead and finish up so anyway if you're ever in a pinch and you can't get a nut to stay when you're in an area like this look how I got that nut right there and I put it right on where it needs to be you can use a screwdriver to do it and you take this longer screwdriver or something to wedge it on top of it against whatever you're trying to get I mean I'm sure this is a simple thing a lot of people do it but some people may you overlook things I'm telling you I do it and it took me a minute to think about this and I went oh well hell I couldn't get my finger in there I don't want to push this up any more than it is and I just stuck that in there and then I wedged that screwdriver on top of it so now it should hold and I should be able to get it in there I ain't got a way I can angle the camera to show you but it should go right in yep and there you go everything's in this line is actually the right way it goes around the back side and I may put uh, I've got some of that heat shielding stuff I may put on there because that's really stupid I whoever did that shit, this should have been way out here instead of so close to that rear end but it'll work I just got to find uh, new caps and and new uh, things there's plenty of line there so yeah they're both in but I got no fucking airline you know the the air stuff so that's just how it is I'll have to find some I'll call Riley's tomorrow and all my other stuff gets here they have them so <sighs> now what so when you're angry just paint something makes you feel a whole lot better I ran out of black don't worry about the overspray but 
Look at that. Best paint job I could do. Because it looked terrible. But I thought if you're looking through those, nice red paint behind those. Yeah, that's total white trash. That's what we're going for, right? Yep, did both of them. Just that gloss red. Shiny! See? Even the fronts look good in red. Uh, the brakes are kind of there. And I can get the brake shoes by 4 o'clock tomorrow. But the hardware kit is a Wednesday. So, yeah. Mountains need brakes. So, I'm going to grab some. Maybe we'll, I'll change them in a parking lot or something like that. I don't know. I, I'm so frustrated still about the shop thing that we could go off a mountain. I don't think I'd give a damn. No, nah, actually, I would give a damn, but I got the brakes coming, but I'm going to have to wait. It'll have to wait till we get down the road. Well, I guess that's going to do it for tonight. I went through the bearings. Everything looked good. Packed them a little better. All the grease was clean. Snugged them up a little bit. Everything seems to be fine. But, yeah. Got the wheels sitting out there. They're going to rebalance the front ones because Walmart did them. And then the rear ones are getting changed. Valve cover gas is being tomorrow. An extra fuel pump and extra starter. Both. And then uh, I'll have the brakes will be there and what else nothing I just got changed the oil put water and thermal cool in it or you know whatever i can find and hopefully them lines will work that they have there damn it it's another thing and i i got it straightened out to where we can run it without the shocks and be okay until we get somewhere that has them i don't give a damn if gabriel has to run them to me themselves but somebody's getting me some and airlines. I'll see you tomorrow night. 10 o'clock at night. I literally just parked my semi out back, ran in the house, changed it into some dirtier clothes, and it's also been pouring down rain. Got in an hour and a half back up in Chicago, blew a trailer tire halfway home, limped it in to get unloaded limped it to get the thing parked and then still had to drive my truck all the way home now it's 10 o'clock everybody's in bed still slightly raining we're supposed to leave in the morning i thought to myself what do i do do i wait till daytime to where it dries up and i don't have the chance of getting sick and then having to drive that whole thing you know being out cold and wet but getting old you know but I I told my friends especially buff I said all my things are apart and everybody you know gets to where you're stressed out and you just want to give up and I talked him into not giving up because that's the kind of friendship we have we've done it two years in a row in a similar situation. So f*** it, we're gonna put this thing together. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. Not gonna be a lot of filming, because it's raining, expensive camera. But I'm gonna get this done first, then I'm gonna get to the back and I'm gonna work on them damn shocks. I'm gonna to try to put some different ones on it. Gabriel is sending me some new lines, but that doesn't give me a, that don't do a thing for me. I called every shop in Chicago. Everybody told me stop using them because they're, they just have their own way. What the ever. So I'm gonna try something different. You tell I'm kind of pissed. I'm gonna be sitting out in the rain. Welcome to Hot Rodden and welcome to my channel that anything can go wrong, will fucking go wrong, either parts or weather now. Okay. Let me get to work. Well, it quit raining, thank Christ. She's all back together.
I do have water in it, just regular water, because I have a feeling on the road we're going to have to flush this again. That's... <laughs> wow. Wow. But uh, I just flushed it again before I put it together. And I started blowing water down here with that cooling hose off, and the crap water started coming out that way. So maybe tomorrow before we take off i'll drain that sucker down again and fill her back up i gotta get some thermal cool anyway or something if we're just gonna run straight water because i know the racetrack they they may throw a fit about antifreeze what we'll probably do is on our way back though i'll drain all the water out and i'll put antifreeze in it because it does help cool the motor has a lower boiling point or higher boiling point whatever whatever i'm tired anyway now i gotta make a decision do I attack the brakes? Because I already re-greased the bearings, everything looked good. But do I go ahead and take it back apart and put brakes on it? No. Those can wait. I gotta get the shocks on this thing. Okay? So let me get to that. Same thing, I'm just taking them hijackers off and gonna try to see if the Monroe's will fit. Well, we're moving right along here. That's uh, still up in the front, but you know, we got the shocks going. And uh, I ran them in the old place that the other ones were, right here. So I can air them up. They probably need a little more. But that's about its stance. Yeah, we'll tighten them up a little, but it's hard to see with, you know, dark out. But that's how it goes folks now I have a decision to make do I pop into those brakes does it need brakes yes do I have them yes but do I have the kit in case I break a spring no look at that the shiny red got all the spring and everything rebuilt back there it's all nice and black except for that crap exhaust but that just burned right off i ugga dugga those about twenty thousand times so we won't be able to get them off if we have a problem but it'll sit a little bit lower than this but this is pretty damn close it'll sit a little lower than that in the front but i like that we don't need to be so high that hijacker they got two steps you know these monroes they got one step by the way if someone tries to tell you that these gs340s or some of these specialty cars won't fit the monroe ones the one stage they're full of shit. i got told by everybody oh them won't work you'll need those special hijackers and all this bullshit. these work good enough they fit perfectly anyway let me do some thinking here. I gotta change the oil. I'm gonna do that. Do I wanna get in them brakes? Something tells me I should at least check them out. I'm already here. The only thing I got left to do is start it um, after the oil's changed. Okay, all right, let me ride back. This thing weighs a friggin' metric ton. I mean, damn. It's heavy. But, that's how it goes. I gotta make sure I grab one of them. I put a bottle of the Rosaline uh, ring seal in it with a gallon of Rotella, and that's all I'm putting in it for now. Whenever I stop, and I know it's gonna burn oil for a while. Whenever I stop and I'm going to fill it, I'll put me some SCP or something like that in it. Um, I don't really think that much ZDP is going to do much for this engine. Uh, this trip to the west coast-ish and back is probably going to do it in. Just, just saying. But you can hear maybe there's another damn storm coming over. So I think we may deal with the brakes on the trip and maybe something that way we can relax tomorrow and take off and 
I don't even know what time it is. Twelve forty-one. We were wanting to leave the crack of dawn, but oh, well, I think I'm gonna pick up my cardboard. I don't need it out here now, and I may put them wheels back on it, and set her on the ground. Oil well, changed. I mean, I gotta run it and stuff yet, but I don't want to do that at twelve forty-one. I, I do like my neighbors, and they like me, and they respect what I do. So, anyway, let me get this picked up. Well, unless something catastrophic happens, you know, I mean, she's ready to roll. Other than, you know, we do have to put brakes on at one time. That red looks good behind there. Look at that. Anyway, I don't want a camera too much. It's raining. That means I'm done. So I don't have much to do here. I'm going to check the water levels after I start it in the morning so I don't wake up all the neighbors right now. Uh, check the oil make sure it's topped off get uh, tools and everything rounded up and stuck in there I got an extra fuel pump I got an extra friggin starter I got an electric clicky clack fuel pump in case both of these sons of bitches go bad and I've got the brakes brakes is an easy fix but if I know that I'm gonna need them I need to call ahead somewhere and get the brake kit and I've got some springs from an extra kit I got for Artemis and it's similar so if I have to I'll just bring springs and we'll just change them you know first chance we get maybe do it at the racetrack it won't take very long it's just drum brakes guys don't expect me to explain to you how to do it the best thing you can do there is either I tell you what Kevin it he does it Kevin over at junkyard digs he does the best explanation he does it a little different than I do I just use vice grips I can use vice grips to do the whole thing. Don't maybe throw a needle nose in there for the, you know, for the hold pins, but that's about it. Uh, but yeah, we just got to get the tools together, get the car vacuumed a little bit, get the clothes and the tent. The tent's already in there. I'm gonna bring a canopy in case it rains down there because, you know, I'd like to be able to sit around and do nothing. We'll buy some chairs on the way. I ain't worried about that. But I don't know how far we're gonna go. I guess you'll have to stick around and find out. So that's going to do it for this one. The next video starts our trip to Tucson. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, cuss, discuss, whatever. You know, the more likes I get, the more comments I get, the better I feel. All right? Take care of yourself, guys. Mr. Barry, how are you? Beautiful car. Put back on the road and drove it over 1,500 miles later.